Aries and welcome to Lucky Star Tarot. I hope you're doing well. Today I am going to jump into your love reading for the month of June. Messages in love for Aries. If this message resonates with for you, please like, share, and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, check out your moon rising Venus signs as this may not resonate with all Aries out there. Leave me a comment. Let me know anything speaks to you within the reading. I greatly appreciate your support and it helps me to be a better reader and connect with my audience. This message is for Aries. How does this person feel about Aries? How does this person feel about Aries? Does this person feel spirit about Aries? Okay. Moon. Okay. Let's get one more. I feel this person. This person wants to offer you the world. Okay, but let's that's intentions really. I'm just getting that right off the get-go. This person feels that you are they're happily ever after. This person feels that you are a soulmate. This person feels that you are um, very giving. You are not a selfish person. They admire you. They admire, um, they feel that you, some of you may be friends with this person or if you're in a relationship with this person, it's like your best friend this might be someone, they feel that you're friends, they want to take it further with the Two of Cups, means a divine counterpart. But they, they, they feel that you're hiding something. They feel that you're mysterious. They feel like you're still grieving someone from the past. So this could be someone that you are in a relationship with currently that wants to progress things further, possibly a marriage or proposal, but they feel that you are still haunted by something from the past, so they don't know if you're going to accept that cup. If this is someone new, they may feel that you are still grieving the past, you're still thinking about the past. For others, I feel with the Four of Cups that in the moon is that you're, they feel that you're currently, you might currently be bored with something. Like they feel like if you're involved with someone, you're not really, it's not like hitting your shadow side. It's not show, hitting you like in the heart. Like the parts of you that this person knows like every part of you. So this could be someone that you've, you've been close with. They know you or you are close with. And they feel like something is missing. Like something is hiding. Like and So that's why they feel like you're like not over someone or something. Because you're not fully open. But that's not changing how they feel about you. They, are, they, they want to make, spend their life with you with the Two of Cups. This is like... Your like best friend meant to be. Okay, more on the spirit. More for Aries. Ooh. Okay, so they feel that you're holding on to someone. You're holding on to something. You're not letting go of something out of fear. They feel that you're very responsible with money. You've been saving money. They feel that you are caught in your own. It's like this person knows you. And they know, it's like you don't, you haven't spoke about this. I'm feeling that you haven't spoke about what's inside the, the fears that you're still not able to completely open up with this cup. So you keep things kind of like, I don't want to say bored, but like, 
safe. You haven't fully opened up to this person because you're still trapped in your mind, still thinking of things from the past, someone or something that hurt you. Spirit, can we get more and more on the Two of Cups, please? One more on the Two of Cups for how this person feels about Aries. Yeah. They feel that you are spiritually, they, this is like, they feel like you, are, you two are meant with the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant to be committed and to be together forever. So if you're not already, this person is in it for the long haul. They want it all with you. They want to commit to you. They've had, it's like, like it's something that's hit them that they can't be without you. It's like this enlightenment, like, oh my goodness, I, I need Aries. I, Aries and I are meant to be. It's like, you know, peanut butter and jelly. I know that sounds kind of, kind of tacky, but it's the whole feeling of like, they just go together. You just fit together. And they're willing to look past whatever this is that you're still working through. Because spirit knows that if it's a true divine counterpart, they need to be able to deal with the shadow sides and the sun side, right? Because we all have those. And I always feel like your best love match, anybody, or is just like a best friend. It's like, you, you have to feel like you can be your authentic self, okay? If you can't be your authentic self, then, it, then it's really just a false facade and it's not going to be something that's long lasting, all right? So be you, Aries, but this person is willing to be patient or has been patient and they're just hoping that you can realize this and move past this. But I feel like the enlightenment with the Hierophant is something that you're both feeling. So what are the actions this person is going to take towards, woo, towards Aries? Okay, so this person may be a earth sign, um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm getting Taurus in my, in my, I'm hearing Taurus with the King of Pentacles. This is somebody that is like, bosses up they are they want to like they they're mature their finances are stable they um they might have a really great job they might be a boss they might be an entrepreneur nice house very grounded doing very well okay able to nurture that lifestyle their actions they're going to come in and offer you um they want to take a vacation or a trip with you they want to pay they want to pay for um, some some rest time for you, or they're going to pay for like some pampering for you so you can rejuvenate. They want to take time out with you. If this is someone you're involved with, they want to go on a vacation. I'm hearing the beach. They want to wine and dine you. They want to spend money and pamper you and not in like an in and out way. Like they want you to give them, like take a break from the giving and the doing feel like for some of you that's your career or just your energy. It's a really great vibe. And I feel like they're going to communicate to you their intentions on what they want to progress, how they want things to go forward, how they feel about you. But it's going to be like, it could be Aquarius coming in with the star. It's going to be something that's like, they realize as they see you heal from this, this month, healing with the star, you're healed, you're reaching for that star, you're able to move forward. As soon as that happens, like, I don't know if it's something you're going to say or something you're going to do, it's going to be like, boom, boom, they are coming in and they do not want to lose this opportunity with you. So if you've been with someone, they're going to be asking you if you want to get married. They want to, they want to propose. They're going to move along. They're waiting for the sign from you that you are ready. If this is someone that you, that knows you, that you work with, that is, or with a friend of yours that you're like, you know, peanut butter and jelly together, it's going to really get amped up and they are going to come in fast. They're going to impulsively come in 
tell you how they feel because you gave them the go-ahead with the star. You're also glowing up and they love how they're seeing this happiness and like more fire in your energy, more energy that's grounded, but also excited about life to a pentacle. So it's going to be about making a choice for you. Okay. This person might be extremely busy with their work, so they're going to create some balance so they could spend time with. This must be somebody that works a lot, but they're going to um, they're going to come towards you with an offer to do something together, spend time together, something fun, something luxurious I'm getting. And they're not going to let any of the work distract them. Because they see that you are in the zone they've been waiting for. You're ready. You're ready. So whoever this was from the past that you're not quite over, the moon is going to illuminate that. We had the moon twice. Okay? The moon is going to show up. And it's going to heal you. It's going to let you be in the flow. It's going to let you be in the flow, Aries. And when I say heal you, I don't mean that you've been walking around like grieving a relationship. This is like deep. This is like deep. But this person knows this about you. This could, like if this is someone you're with, they know that that you still think about the, what happened or this this person. It could even be like a childhood happening, but I'm like a trauma. I'm feeling like it's related to a past relationship that you're just quite you haven't let go of it like in some way. It doesn't mean like you're still thinking about like you you want to be with them, but it's like something about it has scarred you deeply, deeply. But they're willing to wait. They love you. They love you with all their heart. They want a life with you. They want family with you. They want to build. They're just, they've been patient. So what are the intentions of this person? What are their intentions towards Aries? Yeah, divine timing with the judgment. They know they have been they have been told from above with the judgment that you two are meant to be together. There's no question about it and their intentions are to make sure that that happens. To be like if in life together forever. This is like lifelong. Yeah. The two of pentacles. Their intentions are to create balance for you. Balance for them within the relationship. Equal give and take. And I feel like you're both like of that energy as far as like you're working, what you do. So I feel like you're you're already on the same page. Like this person, I feel like for some of you, this person works with you in some in some way for a long time, or like you've always done even like a certain hobby. You've always been around this person. If this isn't like someone you're in a relationship that's just kind of waiting for you to move a little bit further past something else, to like know it's time. What's the potential outcome? Potential outcome for Aries, month of June. Next couple weeks anyway, right? Oh, we have this King of Pentacles coming out twice. This is stability. This could be somebody older than you. Potential outcome is you're sitting happy. You're not struggling for anything. You're not holding on, worried about uh, losing money, losing finances. This is somebody you're going to have. The potential outcome is having a really nice, stable life with someone that knows how to treat you, that respects you mutually, but wanted to see that Aries fire, feeling like it was, something was missing. Yeah, they want to... Potential outcome is to start something new with the Page of Pentacles with this person. Build something new. Rekindle. Five of Wands. 
This is about strategy. This is about talking through it, not letting anything distract you, building something together, reaching through everything. You've already proven to this person that you can overcome obstacles, Aries. You've already proven that. You've already proven that. Get another one on the potential outcome. So you're going to potentially be involved with this person, either progressing it further. The Hierophant, this is going to be a commitment. This is commitment. You, are, you have learned from each other. You both take things, lessons from each other, and you don't even know it. And you're going to rebirth a new beginning. Some of you are going to work on building even a business or a lifelong legacy with this person. Maybe you already do. Maybe you guys work together and you're going to take it, take it a little further. Or if you're in a relationship, you're going to take it to, um, you know, an engagement, married, maybe settling with children. But this is your best friend. This is your best friend. That's the energy we're getting here. Where you, two of cups, you plant the seed, you water it, you give it sunshine, you fertilize it for each other, and you grow together. That's the best kind of love, right? I feel like this person's been hesitant. They're kind of like been in their own mind about moving it further because they're worried you're still not over something. But that is respectful, I'm feeling. Queen of Swords in your advice. So for you, Aries, you really need to keep with this idea of communicating your ideas clearly on how you think, how you feel. They respect that about you. And your advice is to keep that going. Libra energy coming in too. Be a clear communicator about how you feel. Do not get trapped in your own thoughts. She can wiggle right out of this, this rope. This is your own mind, right, about the past. No, 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 no. You are cutting through the bullshit. You're cutting through your own bullshit, basically. And allowing this to happen because you deserve it. You deserve this. How will Aries know who this person is? Who is this person? We've got the King of Pentacles coming up here. More about this person for Aries. Okay, this person has a lot of options in life. This is someone that has a lot of different interests. They have a lot of different things they like to do. They have a lot of things available to them, resources available to them. So they could actually have any, like they, they, they are attractive to many people, or they could be, potentially to be, because they have wear all different hats. This person may be a little bit indecisive in their personality. This person is definitely well off. This person has the nine of cups, is very abundant. Treasure chest has a golden uh, vibe, meaning beautiful home, beautiful things that they worked for and that they earned. Beautiful heart, everything you could ever want in abundance, you're fulfilled. This person is living that life. This is definitely King of Pentacles vibes. Except clearly they have a really nice like development on their heart chakra, right? This is not just all about money and home. This is about love. This is about love, Aries. This person is very good at strategizing with the Seven of Swords. They might be a lawyer, detective, a hustler in some way. <laughs> Could be a little bit mysterious. Could be a little bit sneaky. But this is you. You are walking away. You're finally burning that last cup that you had from whoever this is. Who is this person that 
Aries is still trying to get over. This is someone that had your heart. This is someone that manipulated you. But they fully had your heart. They exhausted you. You put a lot of effort into this person. You tried to fix them. Possibly you're an empath. And no matter how much you tried, you ended up depleted. So you had to move on. Okay? That's... that's if that resonates with you, let me know in the comments, please. So let's pull a mini, oh, before the mini, let's get the hidden truth. Let's get some messages. What does, what would this person want to say? Okay, so let's get, let's get messages from this person that we're talking about today. Not the person from the past. This person. What do they want to say to Aries? They're not saying it. What do they want to say? Ooh. I'm afraid to contact you, okay? So they're a little bit nervous, what I said, about approaching you about this, talking to you about it. I want to be more than friends, okay? I definitely called that. You can't make this up. I wonder if you are happy without me. Okay, so this I'm feeling is for those of you in a relationship with this person, they feel like you're not open to the, the love they're giving. They, they're not going to stop giving to you, but they feel like, would you be happy just alone? Does it matter? It does matter. It does matter. It's just that you've been through a lot and you're kind of closed off. I wish I could take back my words. This is coming in from the person from the past. So whatever they said to you, it wasn't good and they can't take it back. So anything that's meant for you will not pass you by. Okay, Aries? So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'm going to pull a little mini tarot for you in closing. The chariot. So spirit is advising you to think and kind of settle in on the decisions you have. There's two ways you could go, both good decisions. But which one are you the most passionate about? Okay, which one? So there, I don't really, I didn't feel as if there were, there was a choice here, but maybe it's the choice between the past and this person that we're talking about here. Okay, once you know, you're going to go right towards it with the chariot. Cancer energy coming in. And the Hierophant three times. Three times with the Hierophant coming in. Okay, so we had it one, where is it here? Came out three times. That's Taurus energy. So this may be a Taurus, Aries. There's a lot of Taurus energy, even with the King of Pentacles here. Someone that's good with money, likes the finer things in life. And I say, you go for it, give it a chance. Because I'm not seeing anything negative holding you back except for yourself. Who clearly, whoever this was that could take back their words. If this is some, this new person or someone you're in this, you know, it could be someone you're in a relationship with that maybe somehow mentioned at one point something about they didn't want to get married or commit any further just in general in their life and they wish they never said that. Because that was just something they were saying because they might have been, you know, in a place where they, I don't want to be anything serious. Time's gone by and now it's like, whoa, this is all I ever want. They had this like enlightenment. Okay, so it could be that too. Well, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Love and light.